Hello. Today we're working in the while loops chapter of Learn to Code 1, and we're on the seventh activity called Random Rectangles. So the challenge here is to use nested loops again, just like in the last activity, nested loops and conditions to move around the changing world. Okay, so changing world means, uh, I think, if we run this code again, you'll see this big rectangle platform change. Let's run it again. Okay, slightly different size now. Let's run it again. Now it's quite a bit smaller. Look at this rectangle. It's on, uh, it's, a, it's a big platform that Byte has to walk around on. Okay, and uh, it, there's only one switch in the whole uh, platform that we need to deal with. So somehow Byte needs to get where he is now and all the way to the last uh, closed switch and toggle it. All right, so uh, we did this kind of a thing last time where we did nested while loops. And uh, so we know we're going to have one while loop inside another one. So let's go ahead and just sort of put our while loop in here while something, while some condition is true. We want to do some code. Now, really thinking about that, uh, this condition right here will indicate when we're done with the puzzle because we want this while loop to stop when we're basically done with the puzzle, okay? Or at least when we're near the end of the puzzle. And what is the condition that will indicate when we're done with this puzzle? Well, since there's only one switch, maybe that condition might be when we get to the switch, we know we're done. Okay, so let's just try this. Okay to try things and then change your mind. So maybe uh, as long as we're not on a switch, as long as we're not on a closed switch, we want to do something. Okay, now what do we want to do? I'm going to put in a comment in here to remind us that that's what we're doing here. As long as we are not on a closed switch, do something. Okay, and that something is going to be here. Well, let's think about this. What do we want to do, keep doing, until we're on a closed switch? Well, we want to keep walking forward, right? We want to keep walking until we get on that closed switch. So there's probably going to be a while loop in here again that says something like, while something, keep moving forward. Okay, because that's how we walk. So as long as some condition is uh, true, we're going to keep walking. Well, uh, we can just keep moving forward here along this line that we're facing right now, uh, except there'll be a problem. If we just keep walking forever, we'll fall off this cliff right here. So uh, how can we tell when we need to stop walking? Well, we need to stop walking as soon as we're uh, blocked, right? As soon as we're blocked to the front, we know we can't walk anymore. So let's go ahead and put this in here. As long as we're not is blocked, is true, we want to keep walking, okay? Now, when we are blocked, we'll fall out of this loop and we'll come to right here. We are not blocked now, okay? So this will happen, this move forward will happen as long as we are not blocked. And then when we are blocked, well, what do we want to do when we're blocked? Well, one thing we'd like to do probably is just turn to the right because we need to keep moving along this rectangle here. So if I say turn to the right in here, let's look at what will happen now. So we're going to keep walking until we're blocked. When we're blocked, we're going to turn to the right. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to come back up to the top of this outer while loop and we're going to say, are we on a closed switch? And if we're not on a closed switch, we're going to keep doing what's in here, which says, as long as we're not on a closed switch, do something, which is to keep walking. Okay, so we've turned to the right and if we keep walking, then we'll move down this path right here. Then when we get blocked, we're going to turn right. And after we turn right, we're going to come back up here, ask if we're on a closed switch. If we're not, 
We just turned right, so we can start walking again, and so on. Okay, you see how that'll happen? Keep happening where as soon as we're blocked, we'll turn to the right, then keep walking. So we're going to keep repeating this procedure that says as long as we're not on a closed switch, we're going to do something, and that something is keep moving forward until we're blocked, and when we're blocked, we're going to turn right. Okay, so then we're going to come back up and check. Are we not on a closed switch? If we're not, then we're going to keep moving forward until we're blocked, and when we're blocked, we're going to turn right. And then finally, at some point when we are on a closed switch, we'll jump out of this while loop. We'll jump out of this while loop, and we will do, we will say, we are on a closed switch. Right? The only way we can get to here in our code, the only way we can get to here on our closed code is if we are on a closed switch because if we're not on a closed switch we're just going to keep doing what's in this big thing all around here okay so uh, if we are on a closed switch then the last thing we need to do is toggle that switch but I'm going to go ahead and run this first uh, without toggling the switch just to see if we get to this switch doing this so here we'll run the code and we're going to say we're not on a closed switch, so we'll come down to the second while loop, which says as long as we're not blocked, keep moving forward. Here we're blocked, so we turn right. Then we come back up here, and we say uh, as long as we're not blocked, we keep moving forward. Then when we are blocked, we turn right. Then we do that again. As long as we're not blocked, we move forward. Now we're blocked, we turn right. We do it again. As long as we're not blocked, we keep moving forward. Here we are blocked though, so after we turn right, we're blocked, so that's good, byte stopped, and at this point we can toggle our switch. Okay, let's look at this again, maybe I'll run it quickly, hopefully we'll get a different uh, puzzle set up. Actually, let's step through the code this time. Okay, so we're not on a closed switch. So we do the while loop that says, as long as we're not blocked, keep moving forward. Okay, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward. This time we are blocked, so we leave that and we turn right. Now we come back up here, we're still not on a closed switch. So we keep moving forward until we're blocked. When we're blocked, we don't do this while loop anymore, we just turn right. We come up here and we ask, are we on a closed switch yet? No, we're not. So we do this procedure again, the nested loop, where we uh, say as long as we're not blocked, we move forward. This completes all the way until we're blocked, and then we turn right. Then we come up here, and we say, are we on a closed switch? No. So we execute the inner while loop again, which says, as long as we're not blocked, move forward. Here we're blocked, so we turn right. We come up, up here, check the while loop, and we are on a closed switch, so we leave the outer while loop. And the last bit of code we have is to toggle the switch. Okay? So just a reminder, if we get out of this while loop here, we know we have to be on a closed switch, which is why we can just toggle a switch there. All right? Okay, let's review uh, at least what we're doing here. We used a nested while loop, so this while loop in here is written inside an outer while loop. So this is the inner nested while loop, and this is our outer while loop. This one happens lots of times inside the outer while loop, and it, the, the middle, the inner one, the nested loop, executes all the way to completion before we come down and do this one again. Okay, so at our first time through this while loop, this one executes all the way through, then our turn right executes. Then our second time through the while loop, this has to go all the way through until it's done, and then this code happens, and then we come back and so on. Okay, let's do something here to make this a, possibly a little simpler to understand what's going on here. What if we were to take this code right here, all the way to here, and turn this into an abstract idea that just says, keep walking forward until we're blocked and then turn right. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out of here. 
cut this out of here and put this in a function uh, somewhere up in front of this. Okay, so let's say funk and we'll call it keep walking forward until blocked, then turn right. Okay, that's probably a little too long for a function name, but we're just using this as a little experiment here. So we took out the while we're not blocked, move forward, which is keep walking forward until we're blocked because when we're blocked, we'll leave this while loop and then we'll turn right. Now, inside this while loop here, as long as we're not on a closed switch, what we want to do is just keep walking forward until blocked, then turn right. Okay? Do you see how this is exactly the same code? Because uh, inside this function, keep walking forward until blocked, then turn right, is just the while loop that says as long as we're not blocked, move forward, then turn right. So uh, this is still a nested while loop. We've got a while loop inside this function that's nested inside this here. But this reads maybe a little simpler to understand, which is just in the grand scheme of things, as long as we're not on a closed switch, we want to keep walking forward until we're blocked, then turn right. Okay, so we're going to keep doing the keep walking forward until blocked and turn right procedure all the way until we're on a closed switch. And when we are on a closed switch, we're going to stop walking forward until blocked and turn right. And then we're going to toggle the switch immediately. Okay, so that's just a little, uh, you know, way we can show what's happening in a nested loop, but maybe make it a little simpler to see how the outer while loop is controlling the inner while loop as just an abstract idea that's keep walking forward until blocked, then turn right. Okay. All right, now let's go back to the original code with the nested while loops and let's do a quick review. What we looked at here is the outer while loop needs to stop when we finish ev executing everything and we get to the end of our puzzle. And we knew we were at the end of our puzzle when we we're on a closed switch. So for that while loop, we said as long as we're not on a closed switch, we want to keep doing something. And that something we thought about abstractly, which is just keep walking forward. Okay, so keep walking forward is while something is true, we keep walking forward. Now, we're going to get interrupted every so often in our walking forward by being blocked, but that's not a big deal because we can check for that. We'll say we'll keep walking forward as long as we're not blocked, but if we are blocked, we want to leave this while loop and do a quick turn right, then come back up here, and if we're not on a close switch, we want to keep uh, moving forward uh, until we're blocked again. Okay? So hopefully this gives you a little bit of practice using nested while loops. Uh, we're going to keep working on while loops in the next section, uh, in the last activity of while loops chapter. So we'll see you then. Good work, everybody.